Hop out the back with a mop and I knock off the back of his top. Whether you lacking or not, shot is gonna come to your home and you getting whacked at the man, spot. Send a little bitch to the crib, even though that little hoe come back with a drop. Hit him in his head, top getting knocked. Bang. Smoke on BK, dead op. BK. Boy on deck and he reckless, trying to get him west, finna check on the Flex. necklace. Flex. Ops in the jam, get section, tell to get sent PC for protection. PC. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what up squad? <clears throat> All right. What up squad? Hey man, welcome back to Hood Rock Entertainment, bro. Happy New Year's everybody. Yo, I hope, <clears throat> I hope everyone's enjoying their New Year's Eve. I know it's still New Year's Eve in a lot of the European countries, especially Germany. Um, it's already New Year's here. Uh, we're, shit, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. here, bro, so it's been New Year's for a minute. But yo, Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope everyone's got big plans for this year, bro. Um, the channel's got big plans for this year. We've got a whole bunch of artists coming on for, for interviews from Canada, Germany. Wait till you see who we got from Germany. Hopefully coming on the chat. Hopefully coming on the channel. I'm just waiting for a holler back. I'm waiting for a holler back from a couple of artists from Germany. There's also Australia. We've got a couple of artists from Australia that are guaranteed to come on the show. Bro, we're going to be, we're going to be converting the channel into a podcast reaction channel. So we'll still be doing our reactions, we'll still be doing our same shit, but uh, we'll have a part a part on the channel segment that's that's podcasting, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, but we're gonna get into this bro. So I promised the squad that I'd focus, I'd spend some time focusing on other types of entertainment rather than just hip hop. So I thought we'd start tapping into the geography stuff again, bro. I've already done part one of um, Sweden. Make sure you hit the notification bell for part two, bro. This one here is only 15 minutes, so we're going to do it in one part. Yo, shout out Germany, bro. Y'all know what up, bro. Keep dropping the request in the comment section. Get at me on Instagram. All of that stuff, man. All right? Yo, let's get into this, bro. Let's see what's up. Right. Leader Hosen Schnitzel beer, Bratwurst order bread and beer, complicated history beer, no humor, EDM, and gummy bears that will kind of like give you diarrhea, but it's like worth it. Ugh, <laughs> those are horrible stereotypes. I was about to say, that's some stereotype shit, bro. <laughs> but yo, I love everything he just said, bro. I love schnitzel. Love gummy beers. <laughs> that every German is so sick and tired of hearing. Facts. Bit there. You know me, <laughs> it's time to learn geography. <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm your host, Barbie. So, we've conquered Belgium's castle, jumped through Denmark's lagoon, danced through France's forest, and now we've made it to the final boss of the EU, Kingpin Germany. Level one, begin. <laughs> Kingpin Germany, bruh. Ah, you know why I'm smiling. Yep, Germany has a lot of territorial anomalies. We'll get into that in a little bit, but first, Germany is located in central western Europe, bordered by nine other countries. Don't forget little Luxembourg, with small coasts on the north and Baltic. Don't forget Luxembourg. Shout out Luxembourg. Islands. Now, Germany, like the US, is a federal republic which has 16 smaller states, or Bundeslande, each with its own constitution, three of which are cities, the capital Berlin, Hamburg, and Bremen, which is actually kind of like two cities, including Bremerhaven on the coast, but they kind of act like one entity. <laughs> Fun side note, Lower Saxony is actually geographically situated further north than regular Saxony. Now let's jump into the fun stuff. Now we already discussed the Jungholz Quadra further north than regular Saxony. <laughs> Fun side note, Lower Saxony is actually geographically situated further north than regular Saxony. So why is it called Lower fun. Saxony? Now we already discussed the Jungholz Quadra point and the Venban railway enclaves with Belgium and Austria. However, there's a few more. The entire town of Bussingen am Hochrhein is surrounded by... Bro, this is what I was talking about to the squad members. Um, those that were that were on that live stream that time, bro. Do you remember me talking about this? Switzerland, whereas part of the Constance is cut off by the Rhine River and surrounded by Switzerland. However, immediately across the river, a small patch of empty land on the German side actually belongs to Switzerland. Finally, they split the island of Usedom with Poland in the north. Germany is interesting because every state in the country has its own distinct culture, dialect, history, food, traditions. I mean, Bavarians will be quite drastically fun. different from Schwestlig Holsteiners. Mecklen for Pommern will be different from Saarland. This all has to do with ancient and recent history. Basically, in the quick. Well, because. Well, he's about to break it down, I guess, but, um, I guess, like, could Germany's, you got to remember, all the languages in, in Europe, apart from Albanian, actually comes from Old Germanic, an Old Germanic language, you know what I mean? They all used to be Germanic tribes, bro, or put, like, most of the European countries all came from Germany, bro. 
quickest way I can summarize this: Dramatic trials, me Roman wrong. Wars, Charlemagne. <laughs> you just see it. <laughs> you just see recent history basically in the quickest way i can summarize this germanic tribes roman wars charlemagne three kingdoms this guy marries an italian creating a whole new mess called the holy roman empire made up of 300 smaller separate kingdoms states and dukedoms which had nothing to do with romans teutonic knights brandenburgs became prussia Habsburgs became austrians lithuanians and poles made their own thing whereas the see what I mean? joined the austrians war see what i mean that all came from Germanic tribes, bro. Habsburgs became Austrians. Lithuanians and Poles made their own thing, whereas the Hungarians joined the Austrians. Wars, wars, battles, battles. Napoleon comes over and messes everything up. And finally, German nationalism surges. So during World War II, bro, right? Germany, <coughs> when Germany, before Germany started World War II, Hitler's plan was to take back historic lands, right? That Germany had once been in. Now that's it. Now he he needed to be a little bit more specific because he could have actually meant the whole of fucking Europe, and we figured out that that's what he actually meant in the end. But you know what I mean? He tried to justify what he was doing by saying, "Yeah, we're only we're only willing to take lands back that where where Germans used to be," and it's like, "Yeah, but nigga, that's the whole Europe." And in 1871, Otto von Bismarck creates the first proto German unified state. And then they're all like, oh, dang, we came late to this game. We got to scramble for some colonies. And that's how all of these countries at one point spoke German. Oh, and also keep in mind, like 300 years before this, a German banking company obtained colonial rights to Venezuela for like 20 years. Damn. Looking for the lost city of El Dorado. So technically, Everyone you kind of say Germans <laughs> colonized the Americas, but it wasn't like a nationalized conquest thing. Fast forward even more, and then you get World War One. The monarchy ends, Treaty of Versailles, they lose land, Nazis come come in World War II, Germany splits in two for about 40 years, and then finally, we get the Germany we have today. East Germany consisting of these states is today still quite different from the rest of Germany as it was first occupied and influenced by the Soviet Union. They are generally not as well off economically as the rest of the country, as you can still see the blocky Soviet-style buildings sprawled throughout the regions. In fact, the city of Berlin was split in half, and the west side was actually an enclave of West Germany, only accessible by train and highway. You can even see from a satellite image the divide. East Berlin still uses the yellowish-tinted sulfur vapor light bulbs whereas the west still uses fluorescent and I knew this. white tinted light bulbs now the funny thing is although berlin is the largest city in germany the busiest airports are actually frankfurt munich dusseldorf with berlin Tegel shout out frankfurt number four otherwise some top oh, landmarks and spots would be the brandenburg gate the valhalla cologne cathedral whoa, 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 whoa. With valhalla, just look at it otherwise some top notable landmarks and spots would be the brandenburg gate the valhalla yo that looks dope that looks dope I'll tell you something, bro. I'm a sucker for history. I'm a sucker for history, bro. I love history. My, uh, my, my ultimate dream, bro. My number one dream. My, my dream, obviously, apart from buying every member of my family a house. <laughs> but my ultimate dream, bro, is to um, go and smoke a joint in the middle of the Coliseum. I know a lot of y'all niggas watching it like... <laughs> That ain't shit, but y'all niggas are closer. You just are there, you know what I mean? I'm in New Zealand. Uh, either that, or to go and smoke a joint at the pyramids, Giza or something, at sunset. You know what I mean? I'm a sucker for history, bro. I love this kind of shit. Halle, Cologne Cathedral, the Ulminster Church, the tallest in the world, the Berlin <sighs> Victory Damn. Column, and hundreds and hundreds. Cologne Cathedral, the Ulminster Church. <sighs> the biggest in the world. Damn. Now, I live in a city called Christchurch. <laughs> the city I live in is called Christchurch because of all the churches. Now, we've got a cathedral here. Well, we had a cathedral here, they said. We had a cathedral here, bro. Old as fuck, but it fell down in the earthquake. That whole city fucking fell down in the earthquake. We was crossed in. The tallest in the world, <laughs> I'm playing, the I'm Column, and hundreds, no and hundreds of castles all over. The most notable one probably being Neuschwanstein, the concept. Damn! Of I guess she's gonna say behind Disney's Walt Disney Castle. Cause that's exactly what that looked like. I would have said that. I would have said that, bro. I would have said that, bro. I would have said, yo, that looks like the Walt Disney Castle. Castles all over, the most notable one probably being Neuschwanstein, the concept behind Disney's Cinderella Castle. Germany also has Cinderella Castle, okay. more than any other country in the world. And of course, everybody knows about the Autobahn, the highway system in which if you see this sign, it means there's no speed limit. And it's like that for a huge... 
Sorry about my camera. On the highway system in which if you see this sign, it means there's no speed limit. And it's like oh. that for a huge portion of the roadway. And no wonder considering how vast and wide those cultivated Yo, I'm gonna move my camera, camera down. down. Level two. I'm gonna move my camera down here. Okay, think of it this way. In Germany, the more down you go, the more up you move. Basically, Germany lies on the Atlantic Shelf in the north that starts with the mudflats in the North Sea. Yo, Seriously, hold on, what do you say? Right here is accessible only for a few hours. What do you say? The more south you hit, the more... Hold on. Time for level two. Okay, think of it this way. In Germany, the more down you go, the more up you move. Basically, Germany lies on the Atlantic Shelf in the north that starts with the mudflats in the North Sea. Seriously, this island right here is accessible what? only for a few hours I didn't by get foot it. until the tide comes the more up you move. Basically, Germany lies on the Atlantic Shelf in the north that starts with the mudflats in the North Sea. Seriously, this island right. right here is accessible only for a few hours by foot until the tide comes and floods everything. Then everything just kind of creeps up into the Alps in the south by Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg, with the highest mountain, Zugspitze, located right along the border with Austria. Kind of like France, Germany is filled with a vast irrigating network of rivers like the Spree, Elbe, Vesa, Rhine, and of course, the mighty Danube that starts here. The Rhine. third of the land is arable, and another third is woodland and after a millennia of civilization germans have cultivated the crap out of their country most agricultural the run is the root is that real called the run isn't that like got something to do with austria the run no, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Plains and the <laughs> I'm up just too hard. Kind of like Europe's tornado alley, due to its position. I'm sure I've heard that name. Blasts of Scandinavia and the moist, warm jet streams of the Mediterranean below. Germany Link in Sweden, style, Link in Austria, or something. There are more tornadoes on average in Germany than any other country in Europe. Speaking Damn. of flat farmland, Germany is the world's Damn. largest rye and hop producer. Germans absolutely love their bread. There are over 300. So I hear that. I heard that you love Brit. We love Brit. <laughs> New Zealand. It's specifically, specifically Maldives, bro. The natives of New Zealand. We eat bread with every meal, bro. Breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner. <clears throat> if you're snacking during the day, it's usually something to do with bread. You know what I mean? Hundred different kinds of bread in the country, more times Damn. than any other country in the world. Damn. Almost every meal incorporates some kind of sliced or small bun or Yo, of bread. I'm coming for tea. Gluten free. Nine. Germans are oh. heavy. <laughs> Yo, Ricky, if you're watching, cuz. <laughs> Yo, that was you. You gluten free, my nigga. Meat eaters, specifically in pork. They basically know every possible way to cook a pig. Over 50 Yeah, times. so do we. Yeah, my niggas. Pork and bread. Bro, it looks like I'm coming over for dinner, my niggas. Types of sausage exist alongside schnitzels, rouladen, sauerbraten, schweinsaxe, and at a big party you might find Spanfackel. Beer reigns supreme all over as the third largest consumers of beer after the Czech Republic. Even their president has no problem with public intoxication. And <laughs> Germany is world renowned. This nigga. In the Czech Republic, even their president has no problem with public intoxication, <laughs> and Austria. Germany is world renowned. That nigga wasn't drunk, he was doing the two step curve. <laughs> After the Czech Republic, even their president has no problem with public intoxication, <laughs> and Austria. Germany is world renowned for their beer, which, by the way, follows the Reinheitsgebot rule in which they are only allowed to use water, hops, malt, and sometimes yeast. Nonetheless, about 1,300 breweries exist, pumping out over 5,000 brands. The oldest continuously existing brewery in the world, started by Benedictine monks in 1040 AD, can be found here. Germany takes the environment what? very seriously. What? 1040 AD? And they still making this shit. My nigga. My nigga, that's not gonna be one that, that's not just one of the old that's not just the oldest brand of beer in the fucking world. It's probably one of the oldest brands in the world. You know what I mean? By Benedict Damn. monks in 1040 <clears throat> AD can be found. Damn. Germany takes the environment very seriously and for the past two decades has been going on a major green revolution. As of today, they have the largest Fire. installed solar power capacity and green infrastructure practices like Word up, bro. turbines and solar panels have seen Respect. a huge surgence in the past 10 years. Forests dominate the southern regions where the landscape gets hillier and mountainous, the most famous one being the Black Forest or the Schwarzwald in Baden-Württemberg. Deer, bears, boar, foxes, badgers, and the national animal, the eagle, can be found thriving in these parts. Nonetheless, economically, Germany is known mostly for their exceptional engineering and industry production. Companies we've all heard of like Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes, Benz, Porsche, Audi, Telecom, Nivea, DHL, Bosch, Adidas, Puma, Adidas, Puma. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs>
I've spoken about that many times, bro. Right? I've spoken about, you know, um, Eddie Dessler, or Adolf Dessler and Rudolf Dessler, the brothers. I've, I've spoke on that. Y'all you know, niggas know I love my shoes, all that shit. I like the whole beast squad. All heard oh, of shit. like Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes. My bad, my bad. Benz, Porsche, Audi, Telecom, Nivea, DHL, Bosch. Adidas! Puma! Adidas! Puma! Yeah, it's kind of like the whole Biscoito Bolacha thing from Brazil. Remember? Well, we have mud flats, tornadoes, pork, beer, mountains. All that's missing is people. Level three. Fun little side note in Germany, this is three, not this. Now, if the EU was a family, Germany. Fun little side note in Germany, this is three, not this. Now, if the EU was a family, Germany would kind of be like the dad who got out of rehab, reconciled with his wife and kids, and is taking his new life very seriously as he is haunted by the demons of his past every day. First of all, the country has about 82 Whoa. million. <laughs> this nigga is like. By the way, he, he explains shit. It's funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to put it there, though. Get the family, Germany would kind of be like the dad who got out of rehab, reconciled with his wife and kids, and is taking his new life very seriously as he is haunted by the demons of his past every day. First of all, the country has about 82 million people and is the most populated in the EU, second most in Europe after Russia, and has the fourth Damn. largest nominal GDP in the world. About 80% of the country identifies as ethnic... Europe after Russia and has the fourth largest nominal GDP in the world. About 80% of the country identifies as ethnically German, 12% other Europeans, mostly Polish, Italian, Dutch, and so on. Turks make up about 3.5%, Asians at 2%, and the rest are made up of other groups like Africans and Americans. Also, they use the Euro, they use the C and F type outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Germany is without a doubt a global powerhouse. It is the strongest economy in the EU and makes up about 16% of the Union's population. It's the third- <laughs> We just- Hey, <laughs> hell, punks. Hey, hell, punks. Y'all niggas looking at them like, damn, that's fucked up. This is how we looking at yours. <laughs> Third largest exporter and importer of goods in the world. After the United Damn. States, Germany is also the second most popular global migration destination. Germany experiences a high standard bro. of living, tuition. Bar. For let me tell you something about Germany, bro. For a country that that went through the Nazi regime, you know, communist bullshit, you know, communism and stuff like that for a country that actually was, bro, they were level. Germany was level, bro. After World War II, see, the problem was, I'll tell you what, what level Germany, bro, was the fact that Hitler didn't surrender, bro. He didn't surrender until they were in Germany, my nigga. They didn't surrender, and he didn't, well, he, he didn't surrender. He killed himself, he shot himself. But that didn't happen until America were on the fucking doorstep. So they literally had to have the war right up to the fucking doorstep of where this nigga was before the war stopped. So that's why Germany... I give mad respect to Germany, mad credit, bro. No fucking country. Bro, statistically speaking, they shouldn't have come back from that. Just being realistic, bro, it shouldn't have happened. But somehow Germany has just got this fucking thing about the fighters, bro. Like, you ain't gonna And yo, in my comment sections and on my on my on my um live streams. All your haters out there, bro. All you haters out there that are stuck up on this old shit. You weren't even around for World War II. Huh? Most of you motherfuckers, bro. 90% of y'all niggas weren't even around for World War II. You need to stop jumping in my comment section, jumping on my live streams, and disrespecting all the Germans that are in my shit. Bro, you gotta understand. It was propaganda that was fed to the Germans, bro. And it was fucking so good. The shit was the proper. It sounded so fucking good, bro. Know what I mean? But once the fucking curtain had lifted and the actual German people realized, yo, this is fucked up. They didn't want that nigga in power neither. You know what I mean? So stop hating on the Germans, my nigga. Like, you gotta understand, bro, what the fuck they went through. You know what I mean? Shout out to Poland as well, bro, for, bro, go watch the Polish shit on my channel, my nigga, for real. 
tuition free universities, if you get accepted, that is, a mostly government subsidized universal health care system, about a quarter is still privatized, and state pension for retirement at age 65. Now, when it comes to language, things hey, are exact same as New Zealand. <laughs> Everything's exact same as New Zealand. Now, you gotta remember, New Zealand's been listed as number one country to retire to in the world and the number one country to raise a family because of these things health care um you know uh world recognized education system um you know free education for blah 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 for certain people pensions at 65 all of that kind of shit tricky each state kind of has their own type of german however to get by most germans learn how to speak hochdeutsch or high german which is the standard dialect the european right. charter however protects the minority languages of frisian danish romani sorbian which is like a slavic based language used along the czech polish border and plattdeutsch or low german which has similarities to dutch and is typically used by the amish and mennonite communities across the world in terms of regional right. distinctions though germany is kind of divided into five cultural areas rhineland east and middle deutschland north deutschland baden württemberg and Bavaria. Rhineland is on the west side and has a culture somewhat more influenced by France, more Catholics, carnival celebrations are huge out here. East and Middle Germany was the part that used to be its own country. Bro, that looks cool. Hold on. Catholics, carnival celebrations are huge out here. East and Middle... Damn, that looks cool. Damn. Middle Germany was the part that used to be its own country for 40 years as it was influenced by the Soviets. Sorvians can also be found here too. Northern Germany has a coastal sea culture that identifies closer with Denmark and the Netherlands. They are also known for being kind of quiet right. and reserved. Baden-Württemberg has an interesting Swabian culture where they speak a dialect so thick that only about 40% of it is intelligible to other Germans. And then you have Bavaria, wow. which is where the Americanized, perpetuated stereotypes about Germany came from with Lederhosen, Dirndls, half timber <laughs> beer houses, and Cooper really? Clocks. For the record, Germans are sick of those stereotypes. Stereotypes. It's like saying all Americans are cowboys with guns and horses. <laughs> Stereotypes. Facts. Facts, bro. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And he said that's so good too, bro. That was perfect way to explain that. It's like saying all Americans are cowboys. Well, you really haven't found them in, found them in the South, you know. What I mean? Well, the Midwest. With Lederhosen, Dirndls, Half Timber, Beer Houses, and Cuckoo Clocks. For the record, Germans are sick of those stereotypes. It's like saying all Americans are cowboys with guns and horses. Speaking of stereotypes, <laughs> some of the stereotypes in Germany include things like Saxons being very indecisive, Berliners are always bragging about themselves, Swabians are stingy, Bavarians say too much, Hessians talk too it? much, Holsteiners don't talk enough, and so on. Words differ from regions too. For example, in High German, you would say Auf Wiedersehen, but in Bavarian, you would say Fiat die Gold. In Kölsch, you would say tschüss, and in Rhineland, you might say ayus. And there's so many compound words to get really long and complicated, like Rindfleischer-Ticketierungsüberwachungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz. <laughs> many words are mertudig or ambiguous. Yo, let me know, bro. Is he good at is, is is he actually pronouncing these words right? Let me know, bro. Let me know because I've watched a lot of this dude's videos, bro, and he does these these little parts here, bro. And I've always wondered, yo, is he actually saying the words right? Because if he is, bro, that's mad respect, bro. If he's actually saying all these words right, pronunciation-wise, then yo, word up to this dude, bro. He does his homework. Übertragungsgesetz. <laughs> this is because many words are mertudig or ambiguous words that are kind of elongated to give off an extensive meaning. Germans have very vivid imaginations and make up words for everything. Like my favorite word, Backpfeifengesicht. Not this time. By the way, for the record, this letter makes a double S sound. However, spelling reformers have tried to decrease the usage of this letter in recent years, which has led to some protests. Germans also wow. love dubbing everything from foreign media into German. Some like this, some don't, but either way, it's here to stay. About 60% of the country really? identifies at at least nominally as Christians, split between Protestants and Catholics. Germany was even the birthplace of the right. Protestant Reformation, split from the Catholic Church by Martin Luther. Otherwise, the rest are mostly agnostic or irreligious, with a noticeable community of Muslims, mostly from the huge Turkish and Middle Eastern communities, at about 5%, as well as a few Jews, Buddhists, and Hindus rounding up the remainder 1%. To kind of get a feel of what it's like to be German, you kind of have to understand where they've come from. After yeah, World man. War II, they kind of had a lot of work to do. However, it wasn't until the <laughs> late 50s and... A lot, bro. <clears throat> a lot. 
After World War II, they kind of had a lot of work to do. However, it wasn't until the mid 50s and early 60s that the Wirtschaftswunder or economic wonder happened to which almost everybody got to work. Basically, this wow. guy envisioned and implemented a social market economy combined with free market capitalism alongside socialist policies that established fair competition in a welfare state. GDP increased by 80%, investments Respect. by 120%, labor forces were utilized to the maximum, things started to get better. In Germany, all children are corralled into general public schools until age 10 when they are given the option to enroll in three different types of middle schools. Gymnasium yeah. geared towards focusing on higher linguistic, mathematic, and science fields for universities. Realschule, a middle ground type of school, and Hauptschule, a school that is geared towards helping kids that seem to show promise in specific vocation or trades. Germany also has the largest yeah, music market in the EU yeah, and the third in the world after the US and Japan. They love preserving their heritage and culture through music and art. In fact, there are around 130 national orchestras mostly supported by public money, and artists get a 50% reduction in health insurance through a special type of offer in the legal system. One thing that still kind of supposedly maintains itself in Germany is the mindset of Vergangenheitsbewaltigung. Totally butchered that, which kind of translates to a lingering sense of guilt from the past. <laughs> Germans have reportedly some of the lowest levels of national pride, and unless if you're at a soccer game, chances are you will almost never see anyone holding a German flag or waving it in any kind of like patriotic setting. It's weird, but it's kind of I don't blame them, bro. Blame Hitler for that. Blame the Nazi regime for that, but what? Damn. <laughs> hey, bro, look, I, I kind of understand, but, you know, look, I don't wave the New Zealand flag in no patriotic way. I've never waved the New Zealand flag in my life. I don't think I ever will. It's not my flag. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm indigenous to New Zealand. We were here before the British came here. You know what I mean? They killed hundreds of thousands of my people before, before they took over our country and colonized us, bro. So I don't, I don't wave the New Zealand flag. Fuck the New Zealand flag. <laughs> my people got our own flag. You know what I mean? But I, I, I know that you guys is for a totally different reason. Kind of how things are. Yeah. Monster. They've made great strides to move on from the past. <laughs> Nazi flags and Mein Kampf are incredibly illegal items to own in Germany, and they even have a rule, the Volkswertzung, which Fetch. basically says you cannot talk trash by denying the past atrocities. Some people say this infringes on free speech, others say it's good because it solidifies truth. Otherwise, some notable Germans throughout history include Charlemagne, although he was a Frank, but eh, I guess it kind of counts. Albrecht, <laughs> Dürer, David Friedrich, Gutenberg, Bach, Beethoven, Carl Benz, Albert Einstein, although Americans would like to claim that he moved to the US and became an American. American, Johannes Kepler, <laughs> Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Friedrich Schiller, Michael Schu- <laughs> I swear bro, for fucking foreign, someone foreign who's internationally famous even fucking spins a night in America, they'll try to claim their motherfucker, you know what I mean? He became an American, Johannes Kepler, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Friedrich Schiller, Michael Schumacher, Alex von Humboldt, and of course Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels co-founded Marxism. <coughs> but one thing Germans do best would have to be diplomacy. To this day, the German passport holds the most visa-free nations out of any other country in the world, just beating Sweden. Therefore, you can wow, kind of conclude that Germany kind of knows how to relate to people. Let's find out how in That's the final dope, round, level four. Germany knows how to make friends. They have over 220 diplomatic missions abroad and over 350 honorary consuls and have an incredibly high position of authority in the EU. Their closest African friend would probably be Namibia. As a former German colony way back in the 19th century, Namibia held on relations and to this day, German is still a recognized language in Namibia. Wow, Germans bro. have been supporting and sharing ties both economically and ideologically for over a century. India and South Shit. Korea are really close friends in Asia. India supported both East and West Germany during the Cold War and after reunification, they were like, woohoo! Even better! And Germany is to South Korea what Japan is to France. They love to piggyback off of each other's ideas and cultures, especially in the automotive industry. Many South Koreans were sent to Germany after the Korean War to work abroad and study, and Germans have been growing in fascination with visiting South Korea. The U.S. is probably the Shit. closest ally outside of the EU. About 30% of Americans claim German heritage, and after World War II, the Marshall Plan allowed the U.S. to get... 30% of Americans claim German heritage? 
That's a lot, bro. I didn't know that. That's a lot of numbers, bro. Damn. About 30% of Americans claim German heritage. Damn. And after World War II, the Marshall Plan allowed the U.S. to give post-war aid to Germany, which helped kickstart the economic recovery. Germany was a key figure in the formation of the State of Israel after World War II, which after the Holocaust left an obligation to invest in the building up of a Jewish community. Turkey yeah, is probably man. the closest Middle Eastern ally, as the Turks make up the largest Asian demographic in Germany, although many of them may or may not also identify as Kurds. But since Kurds don't have a state of their own, they usually go under Turkish passports when immigrating and are documented as such. Their best friends, however, would probably be literally all their neighbors. I tell you, bro, when I, when I, when I, whenever I hear anything or watch anything on the Holocaust, bro, that shit never makes me cry, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, that shit never makes me cry. I'm a fucking gangster, bro. I'm a street nigga, man. Look at shit. You know what I mean? 17 years in jail and shit, but that, bro, you just can't get past that shit. It's just... You know what I mean? I've, I've watched the video clips of the kids lined up in fucking stripy suits and shit, bro, lining up and shit. Not, you know what I mean? Kind of not realizing what's happening, bro, but it's fucked up, bro. Damn. The thing is, Germany is kind of like Bosnia and Herzegovina, and when you the Jews, they kind of get friends based off of the regional alliances. Bavarians get along with Austrians, baden württembergs get along with Switzerland, East Germany has good relations with the Slavic countries, the Rhine states love Belgium, Luxembourg, and France, and the <laughs> North side loves the Netherlands and Denmark. France, though, is kind of like the True. trophy wife of Germany, as the two have had an angry start, but then eventually fell in love and worked together beautifully. France is like the beautiful, flashy spokesperson for the EU that stands in the spotlight as Germany stands in the background, managing all the money and logistical work. In conclusion, <laughs> although Germanic peoples have existed cool. for thousands of years, an actual unified German state didn't appear until kind of recently, and the brief time that they've been around, they've kind of gone through some of been the most killing it. world now world has been killing historical it. events possibly imagined. Yet, they've come out working hard and building their way up to become a world superpower. You gotta give it to them. There's something about the Germans. And with that, final boss level complete. Stay I love tuned. Your own Another name. African state Germany has ties to, Ghana, is coming up next. I'll be doing Ghana because uh yo I'm trying to I'm trying to tap into all of these that we've um for the countries that I've tapped into and, and done reactions from, you know what I mean? So yo, that was dope, bro. I learned a little bit there. This dude is funny as hell, bro. I love his videos, man. So yo, I'm gonna be bringing, you know, the Netherlands and stuff like that, bro. So make sure you tap them for all that stuff. Hey yo, thanks everybody, bro. Thanks for all the support. But let me know, does he butcher these words or has he got a pretty locked down, bro? Let me know. Alright? Alright, mate. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. I'm out. Peace.